We're setting the mood here for this Imagine It. We are inside the think tank in the Idea Lab at the Imagination Station. And what better place to brew something up than the Idea Lab with the chief scientist from the IS, Carl Nelson. Good morning. Good morning. And what is happening? Uh, you know, one of the things we do a lot here at the Science Center is we make liquid nitrogen ice cream. You do that a lot? We do it for every birthday party that comes into oh, the Science Oh, really? Center. Okay, I didn't realize that. My, my son had one just a couple weeks ago. Okay. So, you know, normally we would take a big bowl like this, and our sort of standard recipe is two cups heavy whipping cream, one cup whole milk, one cup sugar, mix it together, pour some nitrogen in, and it turns into ice cream. Instant ice cream. But I thought, what if we sort of like reverse that process, and instead of like mixing it all together, we build it up on a marshmallow on a stick. Yeah, I love this. All right, so That's good. what I have here is some liquid nitrogen in these two beakers, 320 degrees below zero. And then some strawberry, some coconut, and some plain old blue <laughs> ice cream mix. It's <laughs> not so. That's right. So I'm going to top <laughs> off the nitrogen just a little bit. And we're going to use this as our refrigerant. This is what's going to cool down our ice cream mix on what I call nitro pops. Oh, that's excellent. All right. So the first step here, and it's really easy, is we're going to cool down the marshmallows. These things are nearly 400 degrees hotter than the nitrogen. Really? So go ahead and Well, I mean, that makes sense, but you don't think of it that way. They're room temperature, right? So if we put these in, we're going to cool it down just for a couple seconds. Now what I want you to do is pull out and go into the blue stuff over mm -hmm. there right. and just dip it right down. Whoa, in. hey, yep. whoa. It's very cold. Whoa. We're, we're getting a layer of ice cream on the marshmallow. Now pull it out and go right back into the nitrogen. Don't shake, because you want all that stuff to stick. <laughs> that is true. All right, pull it back out. We've frozen a layer yeah. and go back in. We're going to pick up another layer of ice cream, and then we're going to go right back in. Now, I don't know if you notice it, but on the top surface of the nitrogen, we're getting like these little spheres of ice cream. Right. Dippin' dots. I was just thinking that's, that. That's what they look like. I'm going for coconut. Excellent. OK. I'm going to go through. straight in there. Um, pull it back out and go I want more right coconut. into the nitrogen. And this time, let's have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, go halfway into the blue. OK. I'm going to go halfway into the white. And then so freeze it on there. Kids get to do this. Kids don't normally get to do this. Um, we actually did a fundraiser that, uh, a few weeks ago where we had adults doing this. That makes sense. You know, for the kids, <laughs> getting a big bowl of ice cream all at once is way more fun than doing this step that, by step. That is very true. <laughs> OK. So your, for your final step, do you have all the coats on you want? I think so. OK, so you're going to leave it in there for a few seconds. OK. Now, if you leave it in too long, it's going to turn into a brick because it's going to freeze super mm. solid. Yeah. Now, if you notice, there's some of those tiny little dipping dots on there. Those are very, very cold. Now, this thing, it still has some fog coming off of it. So if you were to put that on your tongue right now, it would probably, uh, it's like the cold <laughs> pole in the middle of winter, Tony. This is why don't the kids do don't do it. Don't do that. Right, this is why we don't have the kids do it. But for adults, you know, we can give these and have them walk away mm -hmm. and take a bite, and then we won't notice if it's too cold. Right. But you, you might be able to try it now. It looks like your top part's starting to melt there. Give it, give it oh, a yeah, not, uh, yeah, the other side, other side. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, mm. Try that, how is that? Oh, it's perfect. Mm. It is good. No, it's not a low fat, low calorie. But Do I look like I'm low fat, low calorie? <laughs> <laughs> but it is a lot of fun to be able to build those things up, talk about the properties of liquid nitrogen, how we're freezing down there very quickly. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. Nitro pops. For sure. Yeah, I like the blue one. All right. Well, you can come on down here and hear about the nitro pops and then ask, how do I make these? Carl will give you his secret recipe once again. You can also find it online. You can. In fact, I know the nitro pops are all fancy and whatnot, but if you make this mixture, two parts cream, one part milk, one part sugar, you put it in a Ziploc bag, put that Ziploc bag in another bag with some ice, squish it around, and you can make your own ice cream at home. Oh, boy. You don't even need the nitrogen. Yeah, what about the rock salt? You don't need the rock salt? You could do the rock salt. That makes it even colder. Mm -hmm. If you don't have rock salt, you don't have rock salt. No so problem. Can't use it. All right. If you do have some salt, throw some salt in there. It'll well, bring, bring the temperature down, and it'll make it ice cream even quicker. That's a pro tip for you. You get that here at the Imagination Station. If you come on down today, you bring a kid. That kid gets in free with a paid adult admission as long as somebody lives in Lucas County. That's because today is Saturday. This is starting to melt, so I'm going to eat it as you continue to build up your the nitrogen. Red, white, and blue. Look at that. Huh? Very patriotic. That's how you imagine it.